Now that we know everything's good and set up, we're going to take it apart a little bit. So I'm going to disconnect the plastic tubing from the receiving flask. Then I'm going to uh, change out the receiving flask actually for a different one. I've got one that's been sitting in the oven for a while so that it's dry, so that all the water vapor is away from it. Now I'm going to take the actual receiving flask out of the oven. I'm going to handle it with tongs, partly because it's hot, and mostly because I don't want to be changing the mass any. I don't want to add a fingerprint or a smudge or anything like that uh, at any point during this process. Now I'm going to let the flask cool down to room temperature. This is necessary for correcting the mass of the air because in our calculations we're going to have to subtract the mass of the air from the mass of the assembly. And that's only going to work if we have the right temperature. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for that to cool down, I'm going to fill up my drying tube. Now to put the calcium chloride desiccant into the U-tube. This might work, I might have to tip it. So the calcium chloride is what we call a desiccant. When water vapor comes into it, the water vapor will stick to the calcium chloride and the dry gas without water vapor will pass through. Uh, let me add a little bit more. Calcium chloride is cheap and we don't want to have water messing up our measurements. Next, to weigh our receiving flask. So I put the stopper in, and I'm don't, there's no point in putting it in tightly because we don't want it in tightly. I need to zero the balance. One hundred twenty-seven point nine three grams. Next, I need to get some marble chips for the generating flask. So marble is calcium carbonate. So we tear it. We want 25 grams of marble chips. I've overshot. Twenty-seven, pretty close. Twenty-six and a half. Twenty-five point seven. The exact amount here is really not critical. 24.8, 25.1, that's close enough for sure. And I'm going to add that to the generating flask. So 25.14. I add the marble chips to the Florence flask that's going to be generating the gas. Next, we add 50 milliliters of water. To the marble chips. And as you see, it does nothing. Uh, the marble chips do not react with water. They do not dissolve in water. Marble is a rock. Now let's reassemble the apparatus. sure this is nice and tight. Make sure the stoppers are nice and tight. Put on the transfer tubing. Now 
Now this is not supposed to be tight. We want the carbon dioxide to come in the tube and then out between the stopper and the flask. So I'm putting a piece of bent wire in there. And the flask. So you see some bent wires between the stopper and the flask. Now we don't want it to pop out either, but we do want it to hold in place. Next, put in this delicate apparatus, the thistle funnel. And connect that output to this input, being careful not to break anything. Now we're all set to go.